Welcome on in to Behind the Golden Shovel. This is a podcast and television show, and we're going to kick off our conversations today really talking about the airports that are in this region and what the significance is. Marty Sauls is joining us to do just that, of course, the chairman of the board for the Southern Carolina Alliance, and we're going to chat a little bit about that. Marty, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thanks for having me. You know, this is a huge topic, really. We're going to try and kind of kick it off in about five minutes here, just really Really discussing, you know, what is the significance for Southern Carolina Alliance of these airports, the economic impact, and other things that they have. It, aviation really is a tremendous economic impact, not only for our seven-county region, but also the state of South Carolina. I think the state has 57 airports, and that is billions in economic impact, job creation, payroll, etc. But then in our seven-county region, we have eight airports one commercial and seven general aviation. And when you look at what aviation means to companies nowadays, because the majority of the companies who are looking in our region are national and international companies, they rely heavily on aviation for their business models to conduct business because it's efficient. Right. So they understand um, you know, the Southern Carolina Alliance and our counties, all of our airport managers and county councils who are supporting these airports understand that that is a necessity in today's competitive global environment, especially when it comes to companies that are wanting to relocate here to one of our industrial parks. Yeah, and you know what's interesting is every one of the airports has a, a, sort of a niche and something that's unique about them, something that's different, something that's a draw. Uh, it'd be interesting to know, you know, the, the future of some of them. We're going to talk about that, of course, in today's episode, some of the history, where things are going, and kind of tie it all up for everybody. But what is it that stands out to you in terms of these airports and how they're really able to generate such economic impact? Well, I think a lot of it has to do with the amenities that the airports offer, the services, the aviation, gasoline, jet fuel, the pricing, and also just the friendly staff. You know, people like to uh, come in somewhere where they feel welcome. They're going to have the amenities and the, the things that they need in order to, whether they're stopping just to take on fuel, whether they're stopping to spend the night, if they're coming in to do business, or maybe they're here on vacation. You know, those, those things are what pilots look for when they choose an airport. You know, who is user friendly uh, and, and who has the amenities that they're looking for to accommodate themselves or their, their clients that are flying in as well. I think one of the reasons I'm so excited about doing this series is because I think for our general public viewers and listeners, there might be, you know, maybe a lack of understanding or just maybe not even something that's on the forefront of our minds to how it is that these airports are able to do this, why they're so significant, because you think about, you know, the expense of, you know, uh, starting a project, and then, of course, the expenses that go into development of, of these, the future of these airports, and yet you look at what they've been able to do economically in terms sure. of generating revenue for this region, and uh, when you really start to dive in, you, you see what an upside it is. It is, and, and plus, you know, you add to that making it a sustainable airport because you have, you know, certain services you have to provide, you have maintenance, airport manager, security, things of those nature. So it's a big expense, but, you know, the, the, the pros outweigh the cons, obviously, but um, it's a commitment and um, it's one that uh, is really a necessity in today's global environment. Um, you know, aviation is, is great for economic impact, the job creation we talked about, and also just tourism as well, you yeah, know. Um, I think Hilton had, had uh, over 30,000 visitors on their airport uh, recently. Yeah. And some, some pretty impressive numbers in terms of, you know, what it is able to bring economically and just from, like to your point, a tourism industry in the, in the area. As we head out on our tour here, because we are, we're going to go tour the airports and really find out more. Um, anything that stands out to you in just a couple seconds we should be keeping an eye out for? Well, I think, you know, certainly so there's some growth and expansion coming in some of our area airports. It's exciting. Uh, and as we make that tour, you'll learn more about that as well. Um, but uh, it's important for our community and our stakeholders to, to see the benefits of what everybody's hard work is, is really the fruits of many people's labor. 
Absolutely. Uh, well, we look forward to that journey. We're going to start that now, but this was a great way to, you know, kick us off, give us a little introduction and really tie it back to Southern Carolina Alliance so we understand what that impact is on their specific mission. Marty Sauls, thank you so much. That's great. Thanks for having me. We hope you'll stick with us. We'll be right back.